Wasserfunk. Mike's Daily Podcast. F -F Episode 1142. The answer to the ultimate question. 42. Hello, it's Mike Matthews broadcasting from Cafe Anyway, located somewhere in Podcastro Valley Mont. If this is your first time listening to the podcast, Don't feel the pressure to go back and listen to all 1,141 episode, episodes. That would just take you way too long. Mike's Daily Podcast. And may cause irreparable brain damage. Today we have on... Mike's Daily Podcast. Uh, Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Floorman, and John Deere, the engineer. I would like to say something that I hope I am clear. I am sick of the blame game. Monday morning emails I get from my weekend job, and it pales in comparison to making a lot of money. Mike's Daily Podcast. I get paid nothing at my weekend job, but it's fun. It's at a radio station, but there's always these Monday morning Mike's bitch fests, daily blame games. Podcast. I do not need it. Yeah. Okay, first off, I'm sacrificing my weekend and getting paid nothing to be at this job, which I enjoy doing. But I am getting sick of these emails. It's like, what, here are the example. We have like a volume control for the bathroom, for the sound of the radio station. We can listen to the radio to make sure it's still on the air while we're in the bathroom. And apparently the volume was really loud. I don't even know you where you control the volume. And then one time somebody was like, the front door wasn't locked. Well, I never go through that door. Why are you complaining to me? I just get... Why? I came in this morning and the front door was unlocked. Okay. It's it's crazy. It's like they're they're crabby because they're they're in they're coming into work on a Monday. So blame the weekend people that sacrificed their whole freaking weekend to work for you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Just so childish. The other childish thing I'd like to bring back. I bring up is Facebook, which brings back childish childhood memories. No, not exactly. I was not in my childhood when I first got on to Facebook. Although sometimes I look at pictures from 2009 and go, hey, I was pretty young back then. Oh, look who just walked in. Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Shelly and Stu Hart, the chef supervisor. You were like really young back then. Like now you're old. Thank you, Shelly. How, how are things at the cafe anyway gift shop? Wonderful, Mike Matthews. I saw a lot of snow globes. Yes. That's odd. I don't know why. It's not like we're a Christmas podcast or something. Snow globes are good for any reason, Mike Matthews. You shake them and it looks like it's snowing. Yeah. Hey, I would like to play, if I can get around to do I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to play back a little bit of my uh, lame as crap neighbor has a dog. And this dog sounded like this at four o'clock in the morning this morning. That is crazy. I did not call the police, but like that is loud. And and look who else just walked in. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floorman. And this is John Deere the engineer. Yes, I don't like loud things. But, you know, you and Floyd are an item, and Floyd's loud. I'm not loud! This is my whisper voice! Uh, uh, yes. Well, there is this, uh... Look at this sound effect we could have used just then. Well, maybe not that one, but this one. I don't get it! Well... Yeah, so that's loud. And I'm thinking I should call the police on this guy, but, you know... It's kind of weird stirring up the pot with your neighbors. And here in the Bay Area, you live practically on top of your neighbors. So I feel like I should just go next door and say, hey, can you turn that dog down a little bit? Not put that dog down. That's a different thing. And that's bad. I don't think I don't think that was appropriate right there. But yeah, just the loudest dog. Now, if it sounded like this, I would like that. Because that's more of a low grumble than what I was hearing. 
finally, oh yeah, the memories on Facebook, that memories thing you get. I don't know if you have that turned on on your Facebook account. And it shows you things from, well, one memory that I got yesterday was from 2009. And it was back when I was trying to sell my house that I have in Alabama. And the real estate agent was the same one that we used to buy the house two years previous. And she would just flake on us. Of uh, my ex-wife and I would just flake. She'd say, "I want to be there at two and not show up at all." And we would wait and wait and wait. And so I complained about it on Facebook back when people were, you know, just just writing stuff and posting words. Now, now everyone has to post a link or post a photo, or at, at least I do anyway. Hey, check out the website MikeStillyPodcast dot com. It's a wonderful place. It's magical. It's full of Warren Buffett. No, it's not full of Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett said to Trump, that was the big story this morning as I was driving to work. Trump said, I mean, Warren Buffett said to Trump, release your tax records. And Trump said, I can't. I can't do it right now. The IRS is auditing me. I can't do. So Warren Buffett said that. Warren Buffett's pro-Hillary. I don't know if that's going to help or not, but... And this is an interesting factoid. Royal Caribbean apparently is doing really well. Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. Their cruises to like China and to the Mediterranean, that's way down. Go figure. But North American cruises are doing extremely well. And Lufthansa is apparently not doing so well. That's the airline that flies to Germany. Not so many people going to Europe now. Now would probably be a good time to go to Europe with all the terrorism going on. Wait a minute. That sentence did not somehow ring right in my ear as I said it. But check out the website, mikesdailypodcast.com, mikesdailypodcast.com, where we also have links to the uh, Amazon if you're going to help us out. Why click on that Amazon link and buy whatever it was you were going to buy, and that helps us out. We get a little commission from that. It's not, it's tiny, minuscule, but we get something. And then there's also the PayPal if you'd like to donate to the show. You'll get a special greeting from all the Cafe Anyway characters, some of whom you've already met on today's show, if this is your first time listening. And there's also the podcast picture, all the past podcast p- pictures. P- p- Pistures? Mm. Don't know. Don't know that. But pictures, including today's. And here's today's podcast picture. The recent Alameda County Fair in Pleasanton. I went on the ride that took you up the highest, which was this Ferris wheel type thing that has like a, a umbrella in the middle that holds you up. Like you're being held up by a post in the middle of the car. Which is a little nerve wracking because you're like just this, it, 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 this sense of like I could fall out of this thing at any second was tremendous. That was the one where they wouldn't let me ride alone in a car. So there were two ladies and their daughter that were riding, and I said, "Hey, can I get on this with you?" I like to ride. I like to go to rides and ride rides like that from time to time. I know some people believe, as I mentioned last show, that I have to have children in order to enjoy rides at my age. That's bunk. See that picture now at mikesdailypodcast.com. It's a cool view of, the, of what the recent Alameda County Fair looked like. And let's get to the segment. Oh, yeah. Today we have Jarell Name, sort of. Jarell Name. This is the very first moment of recording with my... Let's see, is it louder this end or this end? The bottom left side. The bottom side? Bottom side. It's Jarell Name. Screw you, Haley. No! Dude, why are you going to diss Haley like that? That's no, that's rude. All right, we just did the Jarell Name intro. Let's do the Haley intro. The Daily Haley. The Almost Daily Haley. Do I get to scream again? <laughs> Go ahead. No! He loves to scream. Wow. Oh, there's people there. Oh, people just that. walked in. <laughs> no, I was picking up a penny. That's true. What? Who are all those guys that just no, walked I better, in? I better get in there. Oh, who was that? So excuse yeah. my Jerry Seinfeld, but who are these people? 
I well, guess we're going to find out eventually. But as of right now, I must exit the door. So door right. sound, please. We'll have to do a... There, there's a door sound. Okay. Perfect. Cool. We'll have to do another drill in the May where we discuss Pokemon Go and all that. What do you think of Pokemon Go, Haley? It went... It's not on my phone anymore. You're done? I, what What turned you off about it? Uh, I just didn't. I, st- I slowly, just very slowly started not caring, and I knew there wasn't really any end game to it, so I didn't find any motivation to keep playing. As Haley goes, the Millennials go, and Pokemon goes, this is how I feel. So I'm seeing a forecast, a harbinger of doom for Nintendo. No, not at all. Especially not for Nintendo and for Pokemon, because there's already a lot of media being uh, produced about the newest Pokemon game. Oh, what's that? Uh, it's called Pokemon Sun and Moon, and they, they that's one of the main series of games. So Sounds astronomical. It's going to be based in an island that is based off of Hawaii. So wait, when you're walking around with your phone looking for Pokemon, you're actually on an island? No, it's not a phone. It's not a mobile game. It's a it's a it's a handheld. It's a DS game. Oh, yeah, they're going back to basics. Sounds interesting. Are you gonna play it? I will. Um, I always tend to. If I don't get my own copy, I'll I'll borrow my girlfriend's copy because she's guaranteed to probably get both versions because she does that. How was your camping trip? People that listen to this podcast are waiting, wanting to know. I got heat exhaustion. You did? I, you know, I thought you might because it got really hot and you were up closer to the sun in the mountains. It was hotter there. And dry. And you were like up near Murphy's or something. Yeah, Calaveras County, up a little bit higher than Murphy's. I remember going to Lake Tulloch because my ex-wife's family lived there for a while. And I remember we went like this time of year. It was so hot. And I was just walking a few feet and I felt like I was getting heat exhaustion. And I was much older than you at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm much younger now. I'm quoting a song by the birds. Happened. Or by uh, Bob Dylan. I was so much older than I'm younger than that now. Any ring any bells? It definitely rings some bells, but I can't place it. Very good. So what was the circumstances of your heat exhaustion? It was hot. I was exhausted. (laughs) (laughs) You can't get this kind of humor anywhere. I, I did have to spend, like, most of the afternoon just trying to cool down and drink a bunch of stuff, though. It was bad. So you were in California redneck country. Did you stop at a Sonic? No. <laughs> no. The only Sonic that... Or I, we do pass a Sonic every single time we go up there because we pass through lovely Tracy, and you can see the Sonic from the freeway. Oh. Uh, but uh, I believe I've stopped there once in my life and mm. definitely wasn't on this trip. What was something really California redneck that you did on your trip? Uh, we witnessed a fight between two meth heads. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Dead serious. That's what happens. That's what happens up in those mountain towns. No! Was that in Sonoma or Sonora? No, it was in Calaveras. It was up, oh. it was up a town, or it might be somewhere between Avery and Arnold, California. It was Is it a, named after Arnold Schwarzenegger? I don't think so. It could be. So, wait, what were they, were they, did they both have their shirts off and they were both sunburned and very white and they miss, are missing teeth? No, they both had the, the missing teeth look, though, and one of them was really old and the other one was not as old and they were like, get a job, you, you beep, effing, and the other one was like, no, you get an effing job, you effing old man. Did you know, oh my gosh. Because I know a guy that grew up up there. I wonder if you met him. Uh, Gorley. Do you know the Gorleys? I don't think so. Oh, okay. Hey, let me check to see if this is still recording. Oh, uh, don't you hate it when it locks the screen? I'm showing you my, my pen. My phone doesn't lock the screen for an entire hour. Really? Yeah, well, I said... Aren't you phone. afraid of it doing things? Oh, it's still recording. Good. Of course, the listener the whole time has just been listening to me ramble on, sing my song. Ramble on, sing my song. That was Robert Plant, y'all. Led Zeppelin. 
Well, then I filled in for you all that week. It was very tiring. Lots you you do a lot during your show, your 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 shift. Do I? Yeah. Oh. Thanks for telling me. I should uh, do that. You should do some <laughs> stuff now. Any uh, places you think people should go visit when they're in California, like you were visiting? Did you any see any things you were like, I think Mike Matthews podcast listeners should go to these places? I definitely recommend the sculpture right uh, at the corner of the Lake Elizabeth uh, Park, Central Park we call it here, because it looks like the large spinny thing in contact. Yes, it's called Unity. It's called Unity, that's true. Even though it looks like it's falling apart. And you weren't here last week for the power outage, and I was with our uh, overseer, overlord, and he was saying, hey, we should stop by there and see if there were... Because last time there was a power outage, it happened over by Unity, but it was at a different place. Unity. Contact Matthew McConaughey, Jodie Foster. And then there's a little plaque over there where you can read about one of uh, Fremont's most powerful women. Women. No, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, it's over by the benches. It's pretty cute. It tells the story of, I guess, she's the one that pushed for Fremont to be a town or something. I don't know. Hey, we both have our cricket phones. Cricket? Do you get that weird cricket sound effect on your phone, that electric cricket sound effect? I can't make it go away. No. No, I don't. Today was a podcast picture. If We're recording this on Monday. The podcast picture was actually of Lake Elizabeth and some sailboats that I saw one day when I was taking my little lunch break. Topical. Topical ointment to help you with your sunburn? Uh, we did have to get some aloe vera. Wow. And, and uh, how did Becca survive? Did she survive okay? She crashed on rollerblades and spent most of the week not really being able to move. On the, in the mountains? Yeah, well, we had asphalt uh, uh, roads where we were, so we went rollerblading, but there was still hills, and we made bad decisions. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, you know, I'm glad you're back at work, because at least it's safe here, as long as there's no open electrical wires, frayed wires. Afraid not. I'm afraid not. Thanks, Haley, for being on the show. Any final words you'd like to say to the listening audience for today's show? We don't serve ropes here. I'm afraid not. I seriously wish you would not say those puns on my show. They require too much mental thought. <laughs> Especially if you don't say the whole joke with it. <laughs> How do I stop this thing now? Does it go like... Is that button work? Thank you, Haley and Jarrell. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley. Next show, it's Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. And once again, as we do at the end of every show, recent show anyway, thanks to Clarence, the angel in, what was that movie? It's a Wonderful Life, who got a bunch of wings because uh, Jimmy Stewart rang the bell continuously. You can ring my bell. All right, I'll stop. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.